and he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answered, and saith unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and he be rejected of the elders, and of the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed. And after three days rise up again, and he spake that saying openly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on the disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, and the gospels, the same shall save us. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his own soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words, and this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Chapter 9. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of God and all of power. And after six days Jesus taketh with him Peter and James and John and leadeth them up into a high mountain of heart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his raiment became shining, exceeding white as snow, so as no fuller on the earth can white them. And there appeared unto them Elijah with Moses, or maybe it's Elias with Moses, and they were talking of Jesus. And Peter answered and said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. For he wist not what to say, for they were sore afraid. And there was a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. And suddenly, when they had looked around about, they saw no man any more, save Jesus only for themselves. And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen, till the Son of Man were risen from the dead. And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one of another what the rising from the dead should mean. And they asked him, saying, Why say the scribes that Elijah must first come? And he answered and told them, Elijah verily come a person and restore all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man that he must suffer many things, and be set out not. But I say unto you that Elijah is indeed come, and that they have done unto him whatsoever they listed as it is written of him. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioning with him. And straightway all the people whom they beheld him were greatly amazed, and running to him saluted him. When he asked the scribes, What question you with them? And one of the multitude answered and say, said, Master, I brought unto thee my son, which hath, hath a dumb spirit, and wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him and foameth, and gnasheth with the seed, and pineth away. And I expected the disciples that they should test him out, and they could not. And he answered with him, him and said, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you, and how long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straight away, the spirit heard him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, Of a child, and oft times that hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst relieve all things that possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, 